pole vault blog 69. 69. Hard <laughs> The new cycle, new training vlog, and more fun. So we start over today. Or last week, since I'm making this a week later. So since this is vlog 69. Let's talk about. Positions and posture. That's inappropriate, Sean. That's super inappropriate. This is supposed to be a PG-13 vlog. So after last season, you know, and I had those meetings with Steve and Caroline and a lot of time to reflect, kind of was watching my good vaults and my bad vaults. And I started to realize there were some postural issues that I really wanted to correct. And that's kind of what I made the theme of this entire season. I have a really bad anterior pelvic tilt. I blame karate. It's a tilt that's like this. So when you run, or it's called butt out. So the trick is you want to pull your hips forward and that'll make you in a straighter line and more biomechanically efficient. Two, due to bad shoulders. Sometimes my chest isn't locked down, does that when I vault. And so I want to lock it down straight. So when I write training, that is the big thing that's stuck in my head all the time. And I'm hoping that by locking the core down, it might help my shoulders out a little bit, not have such a leaky pole vault where I'm losing energy. So the goal is to jump higher, so hopefully this all helps me jump higher. Let's start with Tuesday. Uh, is a recovery day after Monday. I started doing these new pole vault drills that I learned from Brian Yokoyama. And Brian Yokoyama stole them from the Russians. The idea is... This is gonna sound really crazy. Plant the pole, the pole will bend down, and then it will shoot up. So you could technically turn the pole into a slingshot as you plant, so the pole will actually pull you into the pole vault pit versus you having to use all your energy. And I probably tried this drill about a thousand times. And only got about 10 of them. <laughs> I was out there for like an hour. After I turned the camera off, go figure, that's when I started getting all the drills. And uh, along with that, I did about 400 meters of walking plant drills. And I tried to put the GoPro in a new spot to make it look kind of cool. So that was Tuesday. Wednesday, I decided that I was going to start doing stairs instead of a hill workout. Too cold for hills, you find indoor hills. That much, for that much volume, was kind of hurting me. <laughs> so. It's a big hill. But I didn't have a pole, so I wore a 20-pound vest, and it was fun, actually. I really enjoy stairs, and it was the first day I finally felt poppy after one of these workouts. Everyone keeps asking if I'm in a movie theater. No, this is our school's auditorium. Here's what happened. I learned a long time ago to make friends with the custodians. Because custodians have keys for everything. And they're usually the, some of the nicest people you'll ever meet in your entire life. So I made friends with the custodians over the last couple years. Hey, do you think I could use the stairs to do a workout? Because it's getting cold outside. I don't really want to run up hills anymore. Yeah, man, just don't throw me under the bus if you ever get caught. Thank you, sir. Be friends with the custodians. Thursday was another recovery day. Uh, so I warmed up doing some of the uh, hurdle, uh, hurdle mobility and I'm um, putting a med ball above my head to try and keep that core locked down. The thing is, is when my arms get straight, my core wants to do this because that's what it has done to try and save my shoulders for the last bunch of years. I had to bend my arms a little bit, but I'm hoping in time and as I stretch and do some other corrective exercises, it'll get easier. Last weekend I had a meeting with Dr. Eric. Dr. Eric! Hey, that's a lot of perfume you have on there. Dr. Eric. What's up, Sean? <laughs> What's up, Dr. Eric? Oh, you made the vlog just now. And he gave me some new stuff to, I, I don't know if you remember me talking about that baby stuff to uh, reestablish CNS patterns in your body. 
but uh, he gave me some exercises to do there, and I tried some new ones uh, that he was telling me about. And did a new circuit using a physio ball, which really was helping lock everything down. So that, again, the idea is to lock this down and to pull my hips forward and do a posterior pelvic tilt to overcorrect the issue. And it's so hard. Everything feels so different than where I was strong before. Doing it incorrectly, I'm weak now. Doing it correctly. So we'll see what happens. Uh, and then last but not least, I finally got a pole vault session in. It's about time, Sean. It's about time you got a pole vault session in. I did the pole vault session with the whole idea of being tall, keeping the chest locked, and not letting my core break. So uh, I just did this drill for about two hours. It started to work as we went on and it's going to progress and get better as I get going as I learn how to do it the correct way. And I'm hoping this will save me from pain, help me jump higher, and help me jump higher. <laughs> That's kind of the idea with uh, this postural stuff. It's not the most fun thing in the world. I can already, I already feel taller. Let's just put it that way. And things are starting to feel stronger. I have faith. <laughs> so like always, please subscribe and follow me on YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter. Pretty awesome if you do that. So you know I ask every time and I know some of you aren't doing it, so you should do it. If you need anything else, let me know and I'll talk to you later. Okay, bye. Knocked over to see who was knocking and it was Emmett. I'm teaching him how to be deceptive. Oh, I'm home. I wonder where I should go. Oh, I hear something over here. What's going on over here? What are you doing over here? <laughs> that? <laughs> and he would just look at you like. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> he was so excited about what he was doing. He couldn't contain himself.